The HTC U11 Plus and the Huawei Mate 10 Pro don't have much of a difference when it comes to internals, but does that mean their real world speeds are the same? We thought we'd compare the two in a speed test to find out. Both the phones are loaded with the same profile and during startup the Mate 10 Pro is the faster of the two. Likewise for the fingerprint scanner speed the Mate 10 Pro once again comes out on top. Now before starting we ensure that both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and that they are running their latest firmware at the time of filming. With that checked let's jump into the stopwatch and start it. The initial lead is taken by the U11 Plus while the Mate 10 Pro struggles to take a picture. However the U11 Plus seems to be stumped at Chrome early on which allows the Mate 10 Pro to catch up a fair bit. Now for loading web pages, both phones are loading Gentech's mobile website. Despite the slowdown, the U11 Plus remains in the lead through all of the second row and just feels a bit snappier than the Mate 10 Pro. This may be due to how the software is optimized with each phone's hardware as these phones are running in stock conditions with no modification at all. As we progress into the gaming row, the lead is still steady and there isn't anything to separate the devices other than that initial slowdown of the Mate 10 Pro. When loading the games too, I felt like the U11 Plus just did it a bit faster. We're going to fast forward towards the end of the first round for the U11 Plus now which records a time of 1 minute and 45 seconds where the Mate 10 Pro is still loading Asphalt 8. This gives the U11 Plus so much more time to move further away from the Mate 10 Pro and is a full 6 applications ahead by the time the Mate 10 Pro finishes its first round at 2 minutes and 2 seconds. But what slows down the U11 Plus is the lack of memory management. Despite both phones having 6 gigabytes bytes of RAM, the Mate 10 Pro is doing a better job of keeping applications in memory as opposed to the U11 Plus. And due to this, the Mate 10 Pro overtakes the U11 Plus at Temple Run 2, completing the comeback. It breezes past all of the other applications to finish the entire test in 2 minutes and 45 seconds, whereas the U11 Plus is loading smash hit. Surprisingly, Asphalt 8 stays in memory for the U11 Plus and it too finishes the entire test shortly afterwards, recording a time of 2 minutes and 58 seconds, making the winner the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. I'm surprised the U11 Plus couldn't manage to hold on to the lead, considering how well the U11 did in the previous tests I've conducted. And HCC should definitely look into how to optimize the software further on the U11 Plus. As for the Mate 10 Pro, a very solid time considering all of the ups and downs it faced throughout the test. As always, thank you guys for watching this video and check out our other ones if you haven't already. I'll see you in the very next one. Adios.